All right, so here we are in Autotonic, and um, I'm about to show you how to set this thing up if you own it or purchased it already at this point, and you're just trying to figure out how to um, set it up in your machine and also in Logic. I'm also gonna show you how to do it in Logic as well. So uh, first thing you need to do is, like I said, um, once you purchase it or whatnot, of course, you wanna take these steps here. You wanna go, this is all on the Mac. So you wanna go to your Dish Utility folder from your, dish, from your dish utility folder, you want to open up. Um, let me see here. I already had this kind of set up, but this window right here will pop up. Your audio device. And from here, you're going to go to the Windows tab and click Show MIDI Studio. From there, you'll click the IAC driver, which is this red one right here. You'll double click that and it'll pull up this window right here. Now this window right here by default, this wouldn't be checked. You wanna check that. You can name your device and also you can rename it down here as well and then just hit apply. I've already have this uh, set up so I ain't gotta do all that. So once you do that, what you're gonna do is come to your machine preference and go to MIDI. Now the reason why you wanna do this is because once you open up the app Autotonic, and by default, it's gonna have all your uh, MIDI devices in right here. And so um, I don't know by default where it would probably sit at, but if you uh, if you have the complete control keyboard, you wanna select that, or any other keyboard that you may have, you wanna select your keyboard on the input and on the output, you want to select the uh, ICA, my bad, the IAC driver autotonic uh, bridge for your output to be able to get that going. Now, when you do this, you can see, you actually can hear that it's, it's kind of like hitting double keys. And to keep it from doing that, what you're going to have to do is go into machine preferences, MIDI and then deselect the complete control keyboard or your uh, MIDI device that you want to play keys on, whatever your key, uh, your key bit, your, my bad, your keyboard uh, MIDI controller is, you need to deselect it as the, uh, a MIDI controller. Because at this point, um, the Autotonic is actually gonna be your virtual keyboard, so everything will be implemented through that and then to your uh, choice of DAW. So that's why I said it can work in any DAW. Um, on the market, so. That's how you do it in machine. Um, to set it up like that in machine so you can be able to utilize all the different uh, functions that Autotonic has. And you just uh, hit any of your black keys as the key control. So you can see I just turned it off by hitting C sharp. And then um, I just maybe go to harmonic minor, D sharp. Actually, this doesn't have to be in the front anymore at this point. You can kind of put that back behind machine. Long if it's opened up in machine, or long if machine is opened up in um, the Autotonic uh, uh, transporter app is opened up, you can kind of set that to the side or minimize the screen or whatnot so it ain't really in your way. And you can just keep that there as you go. And um, however you want to set your key switches up, you can do that. Just kind of remember how to um, switch your keys or where you're trying to go to. So for me, I want to go back to my blue scale, so I will go. Uh... So in that, I'll just hit D sharp, and um, I'm there. 
and that's where I have the uh, the blues uh, minor scale set up on uh, as a key trigger. So uh, let me go ahead and show you how to do this in Logic. Before I do that, let me let you see that that's actually in that scale and key. Show you in logic how to set this up okay so here we are in um, autotonic using the logic pro x and um, as you can see from the last video or my settings are still the same in um, autotonic so you can actually just click on logic and it kind of put that behind the, uh, the logic session and um, so I have an instance of a lounge lizard uh, pulled up <laughs> And as you can hear, it's uh, playing double notes and logic. And that's only because you have to come in and um, select the uh, keyboard to be able to play through um, Autotonic. So what you're going to do is come down here and um, you'll be greeted to this window right here. Um, next thing you want to do is click this little tab right here and come up to click and ports. And uh, you'll see right here where you have this uh, by default is already kind of set up this song. Let's see. Kinda take that out of there so it won't mess up anything. Okay. And then you want to go to your complete control or any other MIDI uh, controller that you may have, uh, MIDI keyboard controller that you have and then plug that in and that's how you would do that and then um, you can basically come out of this window because any instrument that you pull up after that will be controlled by autotonic and the scale functions so um, let me pull that back up <laughs> Try another scale here. Let me try this, this A sharp. And um, you'll still see that implemented in the same window. So come back here and. All white keys. But here in Autotonic, it automatically uh, transposes your keys to the right key. Um, so, yeah, let me pull that back up again. Okay. See? So the top half of it is actually the uh, correct key plan, and the bottom half is where your key triggers will be at with the black notes, and all you'll be using all white notes to uh, trigger sounds in your notes through, and um, you can assign these. Like I said in the first video, um, you can assign all your black keys to different scales and keys um, and then lock them in. Your uh, root note key and then your scales, you can lock them in. So then you can um, always kind of use them and have fun and create uh, hits. So this is your guy King David, TrapMonster, TrapMonster.com. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the content. Peace.